Icebox's mini-map and some pre-development images just got leaked, and here are the possible changes, starting with the A site. In this render, we can see that the box on site has been converted into a diamond shape, and the rafters have been cut off, as we can see here. It kind of reminds me of the split map. This would affect gameplay, especially for someone playing at 410, where you don't need to be worried about an incoming high-low peak. As we go here, we can see that a new platform has been added to jail. There's also another box that can help you climb back up to the belt, which is very interesting, but I don't know how that would be possible, but we'll see. And on the screens, they have added a little corner for players to hide from. Last but not least, they extended the plantable area further forward, and they added a platform somewhere here. This means post-planting would be a pain because of this high-low angle that the defenders need to deal with. Moving on to the mid, we can see a double box has been added, and it looks like it makes it easier for players to enter tubes. Speaking of tubes, it looks like some sort of platform might be added. My guess is that the elevation got higher in order for orange players to see mid better. On the B site, a new box has been added by default to make planting safer, and the plantable area has moved closer to the attackers. In the last leak, it looks like they will add a tunnel from the back hall to the site. These are all the leaks on Icebox. Keep in mind that these are all possible changes. A lot more could change in the future. But is this a better version of Icebox? And does this help fix some of the issues of the Icebox map? I would like to know your opinion in the comments below.